It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engine ignition. And lift off. Lift off of Falcon Heavy and Psyche on a mission to a metal asteroid in deep space to study the building blocks of our planet's inner space. Vehicles pitching down range. M1D chamber pressure is nominal. View there from the onboard camera on the booster. Beautiful shot there as it goes through the clouds. Telemetry nominal. Through here, Joe, the power telemetry are nominal. We're also looking at the data for all 27 engines. And Falcon is all supersonic. Chamber, all chamber pressures look good, and Falcon is supersonic now. Throttling down in preparation for max Q. One with peak mechanical stress on the rocket. What will happen here max is Q. the side boosters will. Uh, be at full power and the center core will be at a reduced power to go through max Q to reduce the pressures on the structure of the launch vehicle. Coming up in 30 seconds. We'll start getting ready to have those boosters cut off. Vehicle's looking good, pitching down range. They're all telemetry looks really good so far, Daryl. So we see a beautiful view of uh, the Falcon Heavy and uh, center core and side boosters there. Data is looking really good. All 27 engines of the Falcon Heavy putting down 5.1 million pounds of thrust. Standing by now for booster engine cutoff for those side boosters. The center core booster will continue on. Booster engine cut off. Side booster separation confirmed. Great shot there. The side booster is coming off the rocket. MVAC engine chill has started. And there we start the chill on stage two as we get ready for uh, Miko on the center core. Stage, stage two will continue uh, chilling down, making sure the fuel and propellants are flowing through that MVAC, getting ready for ignition. Those boosters will have three burns, two re-entry burns, and one final landing burn before it comes back down at LZ-1 and LZ-2, landing zone one and two here at the Cape. Next up is main engine cutoff of that center booster. After that cuts off, there'll be a series of steps that will happen in close succession. Main engine cutoff. The center core stage will separate, and then we'll start the second stage burn, the first of two burns today. There we see a shot inside He's the back uh, shut down. There we s that was a in, uh, shutdown. Looking main now engine cutoff. The booster. There you have Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And there it goes. You're looking at the second stage in front of you, lighting up its back engine. Ignition. Split screen now on your right hand Excellent. side. Center core out. FTS is saved. Bermuda. Calling out the communication stations. What a beautiful shot there while we had it of stage two. Daryl, we continue to look at the side boosters. Bearing separation boost confirmed. Boost back uh, has been completed, and they're an extended coast right now. And there go the fairings. Revealing Psyche to the atmosphere. You can see the fairing falling away back to Earth. SpaceX has their recovery vessel. Vehicle is on a nominal trajectory. 
Their recovery vessel, Bob, is out in the waters right now looking to recover both of them. Getting a good burn now from the second stage. This lasts about four minutes. We are going out over the Atlantic Ocean, heading south towards Southern Africa. On the right-hand side, you see the glowing engine of the Stage 2. We've got two cameras there. On the left, we're tracking those boosters coming back down. Yeah, we should see in about uh, 20 seconds, we should see the uh, booster, booster entry burn, uh, which is be the one engine on both side boosters. Quite a clear image in space on the right-hand side. We've got clouds overhead on the left, which you can see at the center. We're tracking one of those boosters, also tracking the second stage, it looks like right there. Yeah, all, all the data so far, uh, telemetry is looking nominal. Um, I see the telemetry uh, chilling down the engines for that uh, <coughs> booster entry burn on the side boosters uh, starting up in the telemetry. Everything's looking nominal. The vehicle second stage is performing very well and side boosters are uh, coming back. Boosters entry burn start up. And there we just heard booster uh, entry burn startup is happening. And seeing the entry burn getting ready to go on the side boosters. Boosters entry burn shut down. And there we saw the booster entry burn on one and shut down. And there we see booster entry burn on the second side booster and shut down. Next burn is the final landing burn. And for PY, NY, FTS is saved. And for folks who are in the area, you end up hearing that loud sonic boom, that thunderclap, just about the time they make land. Stage two is on a nominal trajectory. You and I here at Hangar AE, just a couple of miles away from this landing zone, we certainly hear it and feel it. Yep, and I see now that the booster, side boosters are supersonic, transitioning to transonic. And that's a shot of the booster through a thin sure layer of clouds. We hear the call out for transonic. <laughs> Landing burn is started. Here it comes. I don't know, Daryl, but that, uh, that sonic boom was great for us. I'm sure Jim is excited over there. There's the second one. I'm sure the host desk over there is feeling that really well. Literally, our monitors were shaking as yep. those, both those boosters broke the sound barrier. And we just heard booster landing confirmed, as we see on the screen, both the uh, back landing zone one and two. Everything looks great. And then the call out for stage two FTS is Seco safe. one, stage two engine cutoff. So, Daryl, this will put us into that 45-minute coast that you and Jarmaine were talking about allowing us to uh, do Nominal that barbecue park roll. Absolutely. We're looking forward to that. And as you look at your screen,